currently we're sitting on a product page and you'll notice that down at the bottom of the product page we have a new area called digital product properties so in this video we're going to show you how to activate that so let's start at the beginning we're on our control panel we go to cart settings we go to global cart settings and then we go click on digital products this is going to bring us to a page where we can activate digital products do you want to allow digital products yes we do make sure that's set to yes and we're only going to allow uh, two downloads per customer so how many times the user can download a digital product twice we're going to hit save and that's going to activate the digital products now we need to go manage our digital digital products themselves so we add a new product and everything else remains the same uh, all the principles are the same here you're going to obviously need to have categories for your digital products and secondary categories perhaps but everything needs a product id and all the same information you have for your other stuff uh, we come down to this digital product properties and you click on the green arrow and that opens up a spot here is this a digital download yes it is it says if you select this uh, if, if you select yes the product will be classified as a digital product and customers may download it from your site we need to use FTP to upload our products to the server so we need to upload the file or if it's an application here's where we need to go dump it we need to go dump it into the content slash download folder and then we need to enter the relative path below so what that means is by relative path is it says you may organize your directory structure uh, any way you like in, in this folder so we'll be in the downloads folder and what they mean by relative path is um, an absolute path an absolute URL contains HTTP at the beginning of it so it's HTTP colon slash forward forward dub 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 dot whatever it is so that's an absolute URL right it's not going anywhere else but there and what they mean by relative path is it's saying we're gonna go to slash content forward slash download and then forward slash our file for download dot whatever it is if it's a mp3 or whatever the type of file is so uh, we need to make sure that uh, that's a relative path so please enter the relative path of the file for example if your file is this then you have the you'd want to go to books slash story dot pdf so follow their instructions here you have the books story dot pdf so we're going to inside that download folder <clears throat> Since it's already going to be there anyway, it says you can exclude content download. So we'll just get rid of that, and we can actually call it our file for download.mp3. If we had subdirectories that we had created inside this, inside this download folder, for instance, whether it was books or files or music or whatever, uh, and we had a PDF someone was going to download as an ebook, we could call it ebook. That would be our folder slash our file dot PDF, right? So that's where it would download the file. So make sure you read this fine print here and explains the, the, the way you need to type in your uh, your file structure. And it's that simple. At that point, you save the change and away you go. Um, and at that point, you're able to sell uh, digital downloads inside Pinnacle Card. So I hope that was helpful.